That was one, Chuck Roberto here for another video review, a special review this time. <laughs> it's the new Maltesers buttons. Um, very hard to get hold of to be honest with you, seem to be selling out very quickly. Um, I managed to sneak into Tesco or somewhere, oh, yeah well it was Tesco, where quite, um, yeah in the end you had a couple left really. Um, and you had none in the back when I asked them, you just had them luckily in another part in, in the shop, so uh, thank goodness I got some. <laughs> so here we go, yes yeah, so basically, um, well, those of you don't know, in the UK at least, um, there's basically, I think we probably started by Cadbury's buttons really, or if not, they're the famous ones at least, they who do it. And they basically just do like a sort of flat sphere, well not sphere, flat circle of chocolate, um, and they call them Cadbury's buttons. And since then, in the past couple of years or so, a few more have popped up, um, I guess, uh, well, previous to that there was Milky Bar buttons, and then um, I think Yorkie have done a big giant buttons one, and... You know, Cadbury's did a giant buttons one before that, so that's where that came from. And um, yeah, basically, to go long story short, Maltesers have done one now, buttons as well. <laughs> so really, they look very similar to, um, you know, the best Maltesers is probably the ones you get in the celebration boxes. Uh, they were sort of like um, little tabs of chocolate with bits of crunchy Malteser in there rather than a, a big sphere of it. And uh, I, think they have, I think they do a Teasers bar similar to that, or maybe that's a bit creamy, I, I can't remember now. But um, anyway. These look to be based on the ones you get in the celebration box, which is really, really good because they're possibly the, my favourite incarnation uh, of, um, of Maltesers. So, very excited for these, very excited. Now, you can get them in a smaller bag. You'll notice this is a big one. I think it one pound fifty. this one, really. I mean, if it wasn't new and in demand, they probably would put it for one pound. But, um, but I think you can get a small bag for 50p, basically. But I didn't see those. Um, and to be honest with you, I wasn't waiting around. I was going to get these. <laughs> I did look in the, uh, in the um, sort of news agent section of Tesco. Um, and they, you know where they basically where they sell the pink Kit Kats, but they didn't have the, the small bags of these there, so um, you know yeah there we go. So as far as I know, this is probably where to get it. So it seems quite substantial. Uh, full, full of air though, you can see when you squish it, it's kind of very ballooned. Um, but yeah, very excited, very excited. So what does it say? So milk chocolate with honeycomb pieces. That's what it says. <laughs> um, and there it says. Uh, I'm sure now available in 2D, it says there. Um, I don't know if that's some kind of joke, it's fallen flat on me. <laughs> Excuse the pun, or the plain words, or whatever you'd call it. Everyone's favourite new flatmates. There you go, yeah. So I guess it's just um, the fact that it's just flat rather than a severe. A, a severe? A sphere. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go. So um, yeah, it comes in a sort of typical pack. Um, you notice it's got this little brown edging. Maltesers generally have just a big sort of red pack, so I guess it's to differentiate it. Um, I don't know, I feel like it could be a different colour really. I feel a bit, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's not the best colour they could have. I don't know, it's chocolate isn't it I guess, but um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's what they picked, so there you go. Um, so it's got like a little resealable thing here, whoever ever uses those, I mean I've never managed to, well sometimes they don't work. Um, you know, they're sort of a bit too weak and after about 10 minutes or something it pops open again. But also generally eat them all in one sitting. <laughs> you probably shouldn't, but there you go. So it says portions per pack, 5. And portion size 31.8 grams. So it's 159 gram pack. So let's see. So basically per portion, um, so it's a fifth of a bag. It's 165 calories, 8.6 grams of fat, 5.2 of which is saturates. So there we go. So quite nice. Yeah, I was talking to a guy on Facebook here, one of my friends, um, and he was just saying, <laughs> he said he wasn't too sure about them at first, but five packs later, he said, <laughs> he's in love with them, so we'll see. Um, yes, there we go. Right, yeah, I quite like this little decoration here, these little um, spodges there, they're quite nice. I, think, uh, I don't think you can quite tell, but it's obviously a bit sort of, uh, what's the word, out of focus in a way, I quite like the look of it. We've got that there, nibbled one. So they're quite good really, shows you definitely how they look and everything. And uh, I quite like this bowl thing here. I've always thought about maybe um, you put some of these chocolates into a bowl and put milk on them. Because <laughs> a lot of cereals nowadays are really just that, aren't they? Just chocolate covered something. So you probably could do it, and it'd probably be quite nice. So there was one chocolate in particular that I thought would be good for that, but I can't think what it was now. That's been one of these like aero, aero spheres or whatever, you know, those kind of things. Okay, well, let's give it an open. Right, so opens quite easily. So pour them out, see how many we get. So it's quite warm today, but not overly warm. Now you can see automatically they're a bit sort of faded. So there you go, that's what they look like. There you go. They have a bit of a faded look to them. I don't know if that's because they've been heated up or not. You get a very nice smell from them all though. Hmm. That's so nice, it's nice. 
It was a bit like hamster food, <laughs> but um, it's still it's still relatively nice. Um, so hamster food makes me more teaser. Hmm, there we go. Um, so basically, the sphere itself is a two point five centimeters, and height. It's got nobles on it, so it's hard to measure the height, but it's roughly one point two, one point three. So you can see a bit of knobblage there. So it's melting a bit in my hand. So I'll just uh, so I've got five portions. So we'll see how much a portion actually is. So we'll see how many of these we get in a bag. Five. Turn into groups of five, basically. Might have to make them into ten. There's quite quite a lot in here. You do get a fair bit. Right, so I put them into groups of ten, I think, just to make it easier because I can't fit them all on the plate. <laughs> it's annoying that really because it becomes harder to keep track of how many you've done. Um, try not to do that, but needs must, as we say. <laughs> Two, three. Five. I'll double check these in a bit anyway if I can. Five. Five. There's six there. So I think what we've basically got is we got uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. What's that? 66. 66. So there we go. So a fifth of that, what's a fifth of that? 66, well a tenth is 6.6. .6. So I guess a fifth would be something like 12, 13, wouldn't it? So yeah. So you basically got first, about 13 a portion. I probably, oh, you know, yes. Well, about 13 a portion, isn't it? Let's face it. So yeah. So 13 times, I don't know, five. What's that? What's that? 50, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That's 66. No one did we said so, yeah yeah but there's 65 sorry um so yeah there's 66 it's about 13 a portion basically so 13 of these is basically 165 calories um and 8.6 grams of fat 5.2 of which is saturates so there we go yeah so hmm so there we are so it's probably i don't know what's that 20 odd calories each or something i'm not sure uh 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 well maybe not a bit less than that, less than that, 15 or something. Yeah, 15, 30, 60, 120, 8. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I should <laughs> I should forget my mouse, shouldn't I? I? I never learn, do I? I never learn. But anyway, I'll probably do some caption on to try and work out how many there are in, in each. But uh, yeah, um, bear in mind that basically there's 66 in here. Um, it's around 13 a portion, isn't it? So I think we said 13 a portion. I hope we did. There we go. <laughs> There we are, yes. Yeah, something like that, I think, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's about 15 calories each, isn't it? Something 15, 15, 30, 60, 60, 120 is 8. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? I've, I'm losing track of what I'm talking about now, so yes. <laughs> Probably end up cutting half of this out, I think. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'll try and work it out anyway. So, yeah, but as I say, there's, um, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, there is. 60 odd in here, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 66. So there we go. So I'll probably work it out in the caption or something like that rather than try and mesmerize everyone with my dreadful maths. Um, yeah, anyway, there we go. Okay, so yes, yeah, so it looked very nice. So, um, yeah, I mean, typically I would always eat these. I always say this with these puzzles, but you always double them up. And if you have a different kind of button chocolate or anything, you can double them up with a different one as well, which I think really adds to it. I like that sort of thing. Um, so there we go. Yeah, so let's give it a, give one a cut. I probably would try and put some more of these back in the bag, really, but I'm going to keep them out. Okay. There we go. So we have cottage. So there we go. So that's a really good uh, example of what they look like. So you get to see there's quite lots of them. Very spherical, aren't they, the centres? Um, yeah, I quite like that. I think that's really full of stuff. Hmm. I think that's really good. And there's the other half, just for argument's sake. So you definitely get quite a lot there, don't you? I think... Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I think that's a good centre there. Okay, I'm quite sure I'm going to like these. <laughs> Let's uh, put this up here. Hopefully, it won't fall off. I did have a mass calamity the other day uh, where I think it well, I put it on and then knocked it off, and all sorts went all hell broke loose. And uh, but luckily everything was fine. So somehow my camera managed to take out the chocolate, take out the, the microphone, fall off the sofa, fall off the chair, table, and um, all sorts. Yeah, but. Anyway, everything was fine. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, hmm. I'll give a full one a taste. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, hmm. looking forward to this. Hmm, that's crunch I was expecting. 
And you've then got sort of multi, I guess you say it's multi, whatever, the, I assume it's multi, um, Maltese of taste. Well, it did say honeycomb on the back, didn't it, I think? Um, did it say honeycomb? Milk chocolate with honeycombed pieces. So, I don't know, I've no idea what Maltesers really are, but it does taste like Maltese, it's nothing different. It's very nice, the uh, chocolate, so it's very chocolatey. Um, it's got a sort of creamy chocolatey taste that you get with the Maltese and the other the sort of creamy Maltesers you get. Um, it does taste very similar to the, obviously, the ones you get in the celebrations boxes. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Hmm. Really nice, actually. Very Moorish as well. So, uh, I mean, I've doubled them up there, so I'm doubling them up here. It's definitely the way forward, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Well, yeah, that's very nice. Hmm. 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 They really are lovely. I mean, I am. Hmm. Hmm. I may be a bit biased, really, because I love chocolate with sort of crunchy bits in there, and these definitely tick that box. And I think um, my main problem with with, with regular Maltesers is just too much of that honeycomby type sense or whatever it is. Um, it's just a bit too much for me. I do like them, but I don't know. It's just not enough chocolate, and I think these ones just get that balance perfectly well, which is why the, the Celebrations Maltesers are really good, because, again, it's balanced really well, and why the other Maltesers products are really good. And even the Maltese ones, which are more creamy scented, they, they just taste amazing as well. So I really like these other offshoots of Maltese that they're doing. They're very, um, I wouldn't say them, you know, they're clearly Maltesers based as well. They're not a massive step away from the branding or the brand or the taste. They're just really clever, different interpretations of the same sort of chocolate taste, really, and, uh, and mutton filling. And it's really good. And I think I'm really impressed. Not many other companies manage to do that with their products. I mean, I've not really seen. Cadbury's Crunchy, for instance, do all these very, you know, which which is quite a similar product, really. I think they've done, like, cr crunchy clusters or something you can get in a bag, similar size to this, but, um, I don't know if I review those, yeah. But, um, yeah, basically, uh, that's about it, really. Whereas Maltese is doing so many different variants, and it's really, you know, inspired, I think. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. I could quite happily eat these uh, for a long time. <laughs> mm. We have a Pac-Man one going on here. Yep. Mm. That's one I cut myself. It wasn't like that. They've all been there as well. That's the other thing. None of them were broken. They were all full. Um, quite solid sweets anyway. But yeah, none of them were broken. Really nice. I mean, it's, um, it's a hot day. They are melting a bit in my fingers, but they're so good. If you love Maltesers and you love all the offshoots, you'll definitely love these. I mean, they're not a massive step away from the regular things. As I say, they are pretty much identical, other than the shape, to the Celebrations Maltesers. And um, perhaps the the teaser bar or whatever it is, I think that's a similar affair. Um, but it's just a perfect portion size. It's a perfect size of the chocolate. Mm. As I say, if you get other Buttons products, Cabbage Buttons, Yorkie buttons, anything else really, it's roughly the same size. You could, you know, put one half and half of the other one together. So you get a white chocolate mil milky bar button, put them together like that. And you've got a whole new, a whole new experience again. <laughs> mm. Which I would definitely recommend doing. Mm. You've got uh, caramel buttons as well. Quite a, you know, possibilities are endless really. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, that's very nice. It's got to be a five out of five for me. I wouldn't. I would say there's nothing new here really, other than the shape. You know, it's that kind of difference from the other chocolates that Maltesers do. As I say, the the uh, the teaser bar and the celebration chocolate. But it's just in such a perfect size. It really is. Yeah. Wow. Well, you could even could you do a double sandwich? A double sandwich. <laughs> so you got one. <laughs> that is extreme. But let's go for it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm very happy with these. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I like them. <laughs> I like them a lot. They're very good. Hmm. I really recommend these. Five out of five for sure. Once that, you know, it's hard to say whether they're the best chocolates have. Only time will tell that, really. I mean, there's other things like, say, the Kit Kat Chunky, Chunky Peanut Butter, which has got a lot of different levels to it, it's got the peanut butter, the, the wafer, obviously if you don't like peanuts, you know, but you know what, what I'm saying is it's got a lot more, um, 
it's got a lot more, you know, possibly depth. Maybe it's too too sort of pretentious to say that. But you know, it's got different it's got the chocolate, it's got the peanut butter, it's got the wafer. It's a sort of big crunchy bar as well. So you know that is one of my favourites. Um these ones obviously don't have that level of depth, you know, it's just chocolate with the sort of honeycomb pieces in there, but it does taste so nice. Hmm. Yes. I really recommend you get hold of these. <laughs> They're quite sickly after after a while. I mean, I have had a, you know, I don't know how many I've had now, but you know, it's, you know, it's um, the chocolate is quite creamy, um, you know, and so it's that kind of. I say it doesn't taste too dissimilar to sort of the uh, the Maltesers, you know, um, those chocolate bunnies that Maltesers do with a sort of very creamy centre. Even though that has a real creamy centre and this one doesn't, you kind of do get that similar sort of taste as you're eating them, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. I think I'm just just delaying now because I'm just eating them. <laughs> it's not going, you know. Um, yeah, so do apologise for that. Outstay my welcome. Probably always outstay my welcome, but even more so than usual. Um, yeah, I really recommend these. Five out of five. I spotted them at Tesco. I don't know if they're, I don't think they're exclusive to Tesco, but <clears throat> that's why I got them. So I'm sure they'll turn out everywhere soon enough. But definitely find them. They're really worth it. They really are. And even ask at the customer service if you can't find them. I did that for my uh, Mint Lindors, which I'm about to review in a minute. Obviously doing them after these because uh, um, the mint taste will affect everything. <laughs> but um, yeah, just ask just ask for the customer service. I'm sure they might have some in the back or something like that. So or maybe not, as the case case might be. But worth an ask. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, follow me to subscribe, like my videos, and uh, follow me on Instagram as well. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs> see ya.